Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you may be, I am Mezzo9, and welcome once again to my cellar mezzanine, where today I have got two runs coming for you. First one is as Samson, and second one is as Eve, so let's dive into the Samson one. Um, I'm alternating between Samson and Eve until I beat both the Devil and Isaac as both of them. I've already beaten the Devil as Eve, but I'm playing as, uh, as Samson right now, so that's beside the point. So, Samson... Actually, a much tougher character to play than he feels like, because I really quite enjoy playing as him, thanks to the uh, bloody lust, which is a lot of fun. But he's not exactly very powerful. He dies a lot, etc. I've gotten a um, pretty crap spacebar item in my first bonus room, and taken some quite stupid damage right there. Let's hope to get some blue hearts out of these poops. Not that that's likely, but there's a lot of poop. feels like a training exercise. Okay, um, I'm not going to have the money for the shop. I, th I think I'm going to take on the boss now before I lose my other half a heart, to be honest. And we've got famine. I'd like to milk a few spawns out of him, to be honest. Just to get the uh, damage up from my bloody lust item. It's one of the things we want as a uh, Samson. We want enemies that spawn, bosses that spawn. Um, because we can make use of each and everything that they spawn to get a little bit stronger. What else do we want? Uh, more damage. Damage multipliers would be wonderful. Good spacebar item is quite handy. I mean, this isn't exactly great. It's gotten him frozen at an odd moment. It's, he is actually frozen there, but he's spazzing out as well because I froze him as he was summoning something. Um... What else do we want? Well, obviously we want more health, but we're not going to get that in this fight. We're going to get a cube of meat, I suppose. That's um, defensive. Something. Better than nothing. Always remember that. Something is better than nothing. So let's head off to the left here and see what else we've got on this floor. Now I've got a bomb. I can... Uh, Find the secret room if it becomes apparent, or I could just get that brick, which is probably what I'm going to do instead. Hope for a key inside, maybe. Key and a bomb, or two spirit hearts. Or a small rock would be great. Two spirit hearts, that'll do. It's a high payout. Worth ten coins. And we've got some blast assist worms. Never been a tougher room in the game. It is the hardest fight that there has ever been. Simple as that. You know what, with one of these two spirit hearts, and potentially with both of them, to be honest, I'm going to go to the, um, here room. That works too. Hello, Mr. Angel Room. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Sorry about all of that. That was a lot of throat clearing needed. So, um... I'm not sure if I've mentioned this run, I've done a few practice runs, and a few failed runs already, including, apparently, skipping a devil room most recently. So I've gotten the mitre there, which is going to make more spirit hearts appear, I suppose that's nice. I'm not going to go to the uh, secret room anymore though, don't really have the opportunity. Instead I'm just going to head on downstairs, and sip my coffee, as is tradition. And then take the spoon out, as is also becoming a bit of a tradition. Taking it out too late, that is. So where do I want to go here? Well, there's nothing to really decipher between them. Spiders! Have some... Mum's pad. Yeah, go all twitchy and run away, that's fine. It's fine by me! No, don't come back at me. That's not fine by me. So I guess what we're going to be looking for now is a lot more angel rooms now that we know that they're in the rotation. Uh, I suppose rotation isn't really the right word for it, but now that we know that they're available. I can't exactly take any deals with the devil right now anyway. So I guess we're going to be avoiding deals with the devil for the rest of the run. But aiming to get them spawning, because that gets us deals with the angel instead, and that's better. So yeah. 
blue brick. Add some money inside. Uh, guess I'll blow them up when I can. Blow that up now, though. I still don't have any keys. I need a key. What's down here? Um, meatheads. I don't like that. Oh, screw you, meathead. Something that I said a little bit too much at school and got me um, in a lot of pain quite often. But that's another topic. Quite an upsetting topic now that I consider it. I don't know why I brought it up. Just walk into fires, sure, that's fine. Um, let's kill those fires. At least I got my spirit heart back. And a bit of money for it as well, apparently. Um, I still need to get another key. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen, short of um, one being in this chest here, but that's not going to happen. Great. Well, this run is practically thrown already. Let's go take this healing up here and then go fight the boss. This is going to go poorly. It's going to go so poorly. Duke of Flies, we couldn't really hope for a better boss, but I don't like that it's the champion version. Uh, the champion version that shoots us as well makes it a little bit worse. It's not doing so very often though, so that's um, favourable. And uh, we've got our tears strong enough to one hit the flies. Now we just need to hit the Duke as much as we can. Slice through those flies. And um, not ignore the ones coming for us too much, because that's going to be a little detrimental to our dwindling health. Um, I'm in a bad situation, but I managed to pull through just about. Let's kill some more of these flies and get some more shots in on the Duke, who is practically dead now. Come on! Oh, fuck's sake! Oh, that was so close to dying. Ooh. Alrighty then, health up. Still didn't get into any um, useful places, but not a lot we can do about that. Let's just head on down. Sip of my coffee. What have we got down here? Catacombs 1. That's it, just break the poop and release a fly straight off the mark. It's a brilliant plan, Mez. So is just standing still and walking into spiders. All brilliant plans. Ugh. Let's get these guys um, dead, preferably. Could uh, farm some of the flies for attack damage, but I don't see any benefit from that really. Whoops. Oh crap. Okay, you need to die now then. There we go, and now you can die. And that leaves just one. Oh, for fuck's sake. And a fly. And two flies. Fly off. No way, I can do better. Buzz off. Yeah. Punnage. Right, what have we got in here? Chest. I might come back for it. I just wanted to check it out. Right, this is interesting. We want to aim for um, the back corner if we can. Ooh, wait. That will get them over there. And then they're all in the same corner, so we can just blow them all up in one. If we can uh, blow any of them up. Can I just get in there and shoot? Yes. Yes, I can. Wonderful. And that's how you do that. 
We've got a set of pills, so it's time to play. Guess the pills. Uh, place your own bets in the comment section below as to what you think these pills might do. I'm going to guess at Tears Up, because I want Tears Up quite badly right now. Be using them in three, two, one. Balls of Steel, also good. I'm going to go in here then. What have we got in the chest? Bombs. Great. And uh, I've got plenty of blue hearts, so let's give this a go. We get the speed upgrade trinket. I suppose it's um, useful for fighting these chargers. Who did hit me there, but oh well. I've got plenty of spirit hearts for the minute. I've got as much spirit hearts as I've got health anyway. I've got the mitre as well, so they should be coming in thick and fast. To be honest. This fight isn't so easy for us, but it's a great one to do as Samson, because with each time we knock them down, we get a little bit stronger. And that's nice. He's very nice. Because then we're knocking them down faster and getting stronger faster, and um, we can kind of farm them for damage a little bit if we just don't kill them for a bit. Just toy with them. Of course, there is a cap on the amount of damage increase the Bloody Lust can do, and I've probably reached it by now, so let's just start killing them. It's not like I know it exactly, it's not like I keep track of it, I'm not one of those min-maxers. I just play the game. Try and enjoy myself. Even if it doesn't sound like it right now, I'm just trying to focus a little bit. Makes it tough to make my voice enthusiastic at the same time. Right, money. Nice. Um, sorry about this cough that's about to happen. <coughs> oh, that's better. Sound a little Irish there. Not that there's anything wrong with uh, being Irish. I have nothing to say on the matter, really. I don't like this room. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! So, greed heads are down. That really didn't go well, though, because I lost all of my spirit hearts. At least I haven't lost any red hearts, which means I haven't lost my deal with the devil chance, or, as the case may be, deal with the angel chance. I need to get closer to this guy to actually get a shot in. There we go. And there's a key at last. Uh, let's keep going this way. No, that's the boss room. It's not what we're looking for. Not with my key. I'm looking for the uh, bonus room, thank you very much. Ooh, another key as well. Let's go to the shop then. What have we got in here? It's a ladder. I suppose it's at the point where the ladder starts becoming useful, and it is half price. Leaving us with enough to buy a bomb or a tarot card. I've got two bombs, so I'll take the tarot card. It is the hermit that will teleport me back in here. Me. Maybe I'll need it on the next floor. Or a few floors time. Is there yet? don't know. It's the whole deal. I'm sure he can have my last coin. What have we got in here? Um, remote detonator. I think that's probably a lot better than mum's pad, so let's grab that. Comes with five bombs as well. Um, kind of want some bombs now. Some more bombs. I'm going to blow him up for the devil room chance. Lovely. Spiders should just disappear. Um, I don't think I've got a way of getting any more money, have I? So let's uh, blow him up as well then. Sure, that is a way of getting more money, I guess. Um, back to the shop and buy that bomb that was for sale. I don't think I bought it. And then we're going to go and fight the boss. Whoever it may be. Lovely. Bombitude. I could look for the secret room, actually, and I'm pretty sure that it's here. It's not. The other spot, it could be, I've already checked, and aside from that, there's no real likely spot, so let's leave it. And go kill this boss. The husk. Nicely bombable. Nicely uh, farmable as well, for... Uh, damage from the spawns but there's a lot of them here and I've already taken some damage which I'm not happy about no I cannot die right now that is not how this run is destined to go I am destined to win this run 
least I um, survived, but I didn't get that deal with the devil I was after so badly. It's a shame, but oh well. Down we go. Sip of coffee. It's getting cold. It's a shame. Lots of things were a shame today. It's a shame. Because it's such a sunny day as well. Should be, um, everything is awesome. You know, like that song. That I only know that line of. I think it had something to do with the Lego movie. I'm, I'm not really sure. Popular culture is not my thing. Um, anyway, moving on from that. I could just blow that up, to be honest. Yay! Uh, this is a nasty room. At least I've got plenty of spirit hearts to get out should I need to. But, um, yeah, that's it. Just to wreck the room a little bit for me so I can get about safely. I'm going to leave that one at the top because there's a chance that he's going to check the top for a secret room. Thank you very much, mate. You can die now. I'd be happy with that. There we go. Got a bomb there as well. Lovely. Oh, I'll feed my money into there. Could do with a better trinket. Could do with some spirit hearts. Could do with a lot of things, but it's not giving them to me, so... Die! Oh, bomb back as well. And all of my... More than all of my money back. Sure. That worked out. One penny profit from the room. And gets a couple of bad rolls out of the system. Just uh, focusing on not dying during this fight. I, I keep thinking, oh, I've got half a flashing red heart and not noticing the blue hearts behind it. So I'm not going to die on this fight at all. I've actually got a chance at doing, I wouldn't say well, but okay on this run. Don't like this run. If you would please uh, move a little bit flies, preferably out of the range to attack me. There we go, and now I'll come up here and kill you. And outrange you for a minute until you're dead. Wonderful! And there's the key I was about to ask for. Also wonderful. Uh, Maggie's faith. No, it's not Maggie's faith. It's the rosary. Faith up. Maggie's faith is a completely different thing that I haven't actually unlocked yet. But three spirit hearts. That's lovely. Very, very lovely. Three bombs as well. It's great with my um, upgrade set. Well, with my spacebar item, rather. Wow, he survived that explosion, but not by much. And screw you, spider. A line that I use far too much. Another bomb, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's head off to the left here. With my spirit heart slowly racking up. Actually, kind of quickly racking up, to be honest. Got six of them now, bloody hell. I haven't actually taken damage on this floor, despite being at half a heart. That was um, left over from the previous floor. Unless I'm much mistaken. But the Wretched is not a good fight to be having. Let's lure him over to this bomb, or move the bomb over to him. Either works, that'll actually work fine as well. Let's leave another bomb lying about. I should have uh, blown that up a lot sooner since he was stood right next to it. Come on, Mez. That's more like it. So, um, those of you that haven't seen the Wretched before, he's essentially the tougher version of the... Um, Widow. The Widow being one of the bosses I hate the most. Hence my, um, lack of commentary on that fight. I was just trying not to die. And I'm still trying not to die a little bit, but there we go! Oh, that was tough. Okay, let's uh, take the, um, heal, I suppose. Not a lot else I can do. It's not like I can re-roll it. And in here we've got the nail. Interesting. And Sister Maggie, not so interesting. Nail would put me onto zero hearts. But 
It would also generate blue hearts for me. And it's a powerful item. It would also eradicate the angel room chance. But it's a powerful item. I'm going to take the nail. I'm going to use it instantly to get that spirit heart. Um, and after that I'm going to use it a lot more wisely. Although often as soon as I can because it's going to be my easiest way of healing for a while. Until I get some form of health up. Still one more room up by the shop, and it might be worth going into the shop at this point, actually. But I'm going to save my Hermit card for in case I want to um, teleport out of a room. Which is kind of the more important point of it. So I won't go to the shop just yet, because I don't have a key to get in there otherwise. Um, I'm not going to give you any money yet, but I might in a minute. Although I've already gotten the devil room this floor, there's no point blowing him up, but I might do that just to get some money, depending on what's available in the shop. Now, um, this room I should have handled a lot better, because it's only fistula. But oh well. I'm alive. I'll get over it. Oh, fucking hell. This isn't a nice room. This is not a nice room at all. Thank you, lag, because you're needed for a minute. If I could thin out the crowd a little, there we go. This will go a lot better, smoother, but the lag's going to disappear any moment. There we go. It's fine. Dead things. Much better room now. And we're going to go in here. Yes. I will open that, take the coins, and bye-bye. I actually missed a coin there. And the um, Book of Revelations might be nice if I can afford it so uh, let's uh, blow up that blue brick while we're at it how the hell did that not get you pills great oh balls are still great okay yeah sure I'll um work with that I think I left a coin in here just the one but I'm not going to have to fight for it anymore. Um, where else could I get money that's left on this floor? Answer, nowhere. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to buy the Book of Revelations. And uh, that's that. I guess I'll head down to the floor, uh, next floor with a bit of money in my pocket. And get a chance of an arcade spawning. <clears throat> Not that it would be too useful to me right now. What with uh, running on spirit hearts and everything. It's not like I need Skatol. I'm having no problems with killing flies by myself. Although, it works quite well in conjunction with the cube of meat that I've got. Now. Necropolis 1. This is the difficult one. Because of these guys. I was about to say, um, hoping I'm not going to bump into any of those masks and hearts, but... The gods of this game are cruel. Blatantly. Uh, you can have some bombs, perhaps. Let's see if that does anything nice. Yes, it did something very nice. As well as getting me into these two bombs, it's given me a nice little shelter over here. If I can uh, make sure that they don't come in. That's it, you just go over there. Unfortunately, the hearts are hiding over here as well, so we can't really hide in the little shelter I made. Get off of me! There we go. Well... That didn't go particularly well at all. Let's hope I don't bump into any more of them. These guys aren't nice to be bumping into either. But at least I can handle these guys. Especially with the lag that they're causing. 
My window's wide open, but it's a pretty hot day. So it's probably not helping that much. The reason my window's open, I've found that it lags less when I've got uh, when it's cooler in here. But it's not exactly very cool in here today. There's not a lot I can do about that either. I don't think I'm going to last much longer, but... Uh, we saw the power of positive thinking in the last run, so uh, I'm going to win this run. Although the power of positive thinking did peter out in the end, as we got slaughtered over and over again by Mum, but that's not the point. Um, yeah, I may well die in here. It's not even there. Brilliant. At least these guys are spawners, and that's going to make the um, room get easier as it goes on. Okay, let's carve through these flies, and then carve through the spawners. And make sure we dodge the bomb fly and the bullets. Whoa, bub, bub, because that's where things get dangerous. I want to blow them up near the coin so he makes it go flying. That works too. I'm gonna have plenty of time to uh, recharge my nail before the boss fight, but I'd rather use it in a room with enemies than maybe a blue brick. Tough enemies, so that'll do. See, I've already lost health to them. I'm just gonna hide out over here like a coward. Um, because then the masks can't actually get me for a minute, and then I'm just going to dodge in and out. In fact, I could run across there like that, and there like that. Just doing what I can to damage the hearts without getting hit by the masks. I hate these guys so much. This is ridiculous. Damn it! Well, at least it's over half an hour. At least I can um, publish this run. And I will be back reasonably shortly with another run. This one by uh, yeah, this one starring Eve instead. I will see you all for that. Um, I haven't done my combos or anything, but it was all pretty crap. I don't like Samson anymore, really. Mitre and the Nail. There you go, that's a combo. Nothing new, and I will see you all next time for a much, much, much better run, because we're playing as Eve, and there's a lot more tactics involved there, and that's what I'm good at, not this skill malarkey. Kyuh. Who has skill? Anyway, see you then. Bye.